Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use decals in Unity URP. Now, these are a thing that have been in HDRP for a long period of time. They allow you to project images onto surfaces, and sometimes the surfaces don't even need to be flat. Classically, if you're going to add decals to your scene or objects to walls to add grunge, or different things like that, they would have to be put on a flat plane or you'd have to modify it on a mesh and it might not be suitable. This allows you to put the texture on any sort of angled surface or circular surface and it will actually wrap the texture around as you can see here without you having to make custom geometry to do so. But you can place this in any position that you want and then be able to adjust it depending on where you would like that object to be positioned. So there's plenty of assets online to get decals. Decals could be any image from the internet, but here I'm gonna use the Wowwolf M4 Decals Pack 1. I'll put all the links in the description, and these are just a set of decals in a sci-fi theme. And I've also got the sci-fi construction kit modular, which I'm going to import into URP so we can see it in action. Now I've imported these assets from the package manager, as long as you've opened them up in Unity. And you will have a bunch of assets in these wear decals. And in the assets, you will have folders with different decals. And of course, as you can see, these are just literally images that you could create yourself as long as they've got a transparent background. And when you pull in any image, make sure that the alpha has a transparency ticked just so that it does hold its transparency and can be used as a decal. And depending on which renderer you're using, I'm using the high fidelity renderer. You can go onto that asset and you can see render features. And if we add new render features and choose a decal, we can add this feature and you can leave it generally on automatic and you can set the max draw distance for every decal that's appeared. So the, so the further away that the decal is, the more chance it is to just cull all the way out and save on performance. But now we've created that and updated our object. Now we can right click in our hierarchy or you can go to game object and then go to rendering and URP decal projector. And then we'll get a box here. I like to use the generic transform tool just because it gives me all options in one. It doesn't seem to be projecting anywhere. So if we pull this down, you could see that it begins to project a white box. That's just something that Unity uses by default. So you can see that when we're close enough to the particular ground or wherever we want to place it, it will have it there. We've got a slot for a material that we want to add. Now, because I wanted to use some of these caution signs, what we'll do is I'll right click in the folder, go create and choose a new material. I'm just gonna call this caution decal one and you can give it a naming convention that works for you. Then in the shader, we can go to the top and then we can go to the shader graphs and choose decal. Then there you've got input for both base map and normal map and the normal blend. Now I'm going to add caution not one here and with our original decal projector selected, we can add it into the material slot and you can see that it starts projecting our material. I'm going to, I can just rotate as I would normally to get this to appear if I want it on the wall. I could then rotate then 90 degrees. I just hold control to then rotate that and then drag the move tool and just put it against our wall here. And we can position that wherever we want. Now you can use the gizmos, which in this case is scaling. So you can scale on the X or the Y with these little anchor points. If not, you can hold shift and you can scale it uniformly. Like so, if you want a really massive decal, then you've got the second option in the list, which is the crop option. So say we wanted to crop out our decal. And if we zoom in a little bit, you can see, I might want to just crop it. If you've created one with an Atlas texture and one texture shares many different textures, you can do it like that. So then you can pick and crop which one you want to use. The last one, you can affect the pivot point of your particular gizmo to be able to move around. And this also allows you to adjust the position of the UV without you actually having to adjust any of the transforms. So you can scale it in, or we can make sure that we duplicates on there by adjusting the UV tiling or anything that's suitable for your needs. Then if we do need to create another, let's say we want to create a bunch of signs here to make our sci-fi scene look like it's a could be a hazardous area then we can duplicate the caution again i'm just going to rename it myself then i'll make sure i add the second caution and then i can go into my second decal projector add the material and then they're added to our object here now do remember that on our materials sometimes you might get a weird white backing around the edge as you can see it here 
you can see the sort of weird outline of where the alpha is cut off. Now what you can do is go back on any of your materials that you're using, set the normal blend to zero, and then you will see in our scene that we don't see any of that cut off anymore. We can have the decals positioned in any way that we want and place them anywhere in the world. And of course you can rotate and do anything else you want with the decals. So do let me know what you think of this tutorial and do check out my Patreon to get access to over 175 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Come and check out all the links in the description for all the best Unity sales, savings across game dev and more. And check out my great assets on the Unity Asset Store along with massive savings on my website. Big thank you to all my patrons including Peter Steiner, Raheem Whittaker, Manos Berikas, Walter Dunson, Rene Leisure, Alyssa Faden, Daniel Getterjank, Hush, Thomas Mersaleski, Callum Murray, Mark Rondu, Marvin Church, Hoagland Nigoyan, Curry for Life Gaming, Sung G Park, Brandon Mannion, Austin Certain, Gene White Quaint, Duane Cooper, James McCarthy, Johanna Lixon, Leslie Winter, Heather Fletcher, Mark Rackon, Andrea Ferreira, Larry Into, Dylan C, Pablo, Liam Gray, Eric Young, Warblin Lynn, Dennis Foreman, Lemu, Shane Finley, and Carl Frederick. So thanks very much for watching this video, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.